Congress calling it extortion when websites make people who are not even criminals pay to remove their mugshots. How he's trying to stop the practice. In developments tonight, a state lawmaker wants to crack down on websites that are profiting from displaying mugshots of people who are not even criminals. We first told you about them Friday. Channel 2's Carl Willis is live tonight at the state capitol with how the lawmaker plans to try to stop them. Carl. Well, the state representative saw my story on Friday and also talked to several people who've had their mugshots plastered on websites like this one. Now he says this issue is headed straight for the Capitol. I have every intention of trying to put some sort of legislation in place when we go back in January uh, to address this issue because it's not correct. State Representative Roger Bruce says the dozens of websites that display mugshots then charge to take them down are creating a growing problem across Georgia. He says they affect not only hardened criminals, but those who have not and never will be convicted of anything. The notion that you can take a public record and distort what that record represents and then charge people to fix a problem that you created, I don't think that's right. A simple search yields dozens of the sites and a few companies dedicated solely to, quote, online reputation repair. And it only cost me $399. I talked to business owner Godwin Apobieri on Friday, who's wrangling with two sites that have a seven-year-old mugshot displayed for all to see. He was arrested for driving without having his license with him, and later cleared. Something like this can bring all your hard work down in a minute. None of the sites I contacted responded with a comment. Despite the disclaimers posted on some sites, Representative Bruce says the mere presence of a mugshot floating in cyberspace can kill your reputation. I think that's a crime in and of itself. Maybe their picture needs to be out there. Now, these records are public record, but some of these sites claim that this is covered by the First Amendment, but some of their removal fees can range anywhere from $70 to $400. Reported live in downtown Atlanta, Carl Willis, Channel 2, Action News, Night.